now the vector function so if each value of a scalar variable t there correspond a value of the vector r then that vector r is called a vector function here that r vector we write the r is a function of t and that t is in a scalar quantity and the r of t that is r is a vector sometime we write f of t in the form of function so in 3d plane or we can say in three dimensional every vector can uniquely express as a linear combination of three fixed non coplanar vectors so f of t we write f1 t i f2 t j f3 t k here i j k that i j k denotes the unit factor along the x axis y axis and z axis and that f1 f2 f3 these are called the component of that vector ft along the coordinate axis if we say that is an x y z so somewhere the vector f vector of t so the corresponding the ijk is what is a unit vector and that f1 f2 f3 is a component of the vector f along that these axis now the derivative of a vector function with respect to a scalar so suppose we have a vector r or we say of ft with a vector function of a scalar variable here the scalar variable is what t and suppose del t with a small increment in t and del r the corresponding change in r so suppose that is in vector r and this is a p this is o this is q and this is o so a small change in p to q so here the vector is what r plus del r is equal to f t plus del t there is a small increment in t so in that case if we find the p q is equal to we write p q the vector p q is what o q minus o p so we get that vector del r and if we write r plus del r so it means that is vector f t plus del t so the small change in the you can say a scalar variable so a change in a vector so that del r we can write del r is equal to f t plus del t minus r vector or the r vector is what f t now if we divide by that del r vector with by dt and take a limit del t tends to zero so we can write f t plus del t minus f t upon del t if that is exist so we can say this is what this is a derivative so we can say dr by dt the vector dr by dt is a derivative of r with respect to t in the direction of a tangent at a point p means a tangent at this point representing the derivative of that vector r now the general rule of the differentiation so if we take a vector a b c are the vector functions of a scalar value t and phi is another scalar function of t so the derivative if we have given uh, the addition or the substitution of two vectors and we have to operate a derivative over there so we just that operate that derivative separately on the vectors so we write derivative of a with respect to t plus minus derivative of b vector with respect to t now the second property if we have given the dot product of two vectors and we have to differentiate uh, we operate the derivative on that so we follow the product rule of the differentiation that is the first factor same dot the derivative of the vector b plus the derivative of vector a dot b vector and if we have given the cross product of two vectors a and b vector functions and we have to take the derivative over so we write the first vector cross product the derivative of second vector with respect to t plus the derivative of the first vector that is a with respect to t cross product into back vector b you just follow the same order as we have given now the third one if we have 
the product of a vector b into a scalar function phi here phi is a scalar function and b is a vector function so if you want to apply the derivative on that so again we have to follow the product rule the phi is same the derivative of b plus the derivative of phi function into dot b and similarly if uh, we have given the cross product of three vectors a cross b cross c and we have to operate the derivative so we just follow the derivative of the first cross product of b cross c plus a, a vector cross derivative of b, ve b vector cross c and a cross c cross derivative of third vector that is c with respect to t and the next point if suppose we say a vector is set to be constant if both its magnitude and direction are fixed so in that case derivative of that vector we get zero and the last point if uh, we say r be the vector function of a scalar variable t that is we say r vector is x i plus y j plus z k where x is equal to f1 t y is equal to f2 t and z is equal to f3 t then the derivative of that r we just differentiate the f1 plus f2 dash f2 dash plus f3 dash so we get our vector quantity so the scalar and the vector point function so a variable quantity whose value at any point in the region of a space depend upon the position of the point and is called a point function so there are two type of point functions the first one the scalar point function so a scalar point function is what if the r be the reason suppose of a space at each point of which there is correspond a unique scalar so that is we say phi phi is the function of x y z so the example of the scalar point function suppose we say the temperature distribution in the heated body is what is an scalar point function density of any body or substance is again a scalar point function or we say the distribution of atmospheric pressure is also a scalar point function now the vector point function so again we say if r be the region of the space at each point of which a vector a unique vector v is given then that v vector is called vector point function and that r on the region r in that case r is called vector field so, so the examples are the velocity of a moving fluid or we can say a gravitational force these are the vector point functions another example a particle move along the curve x is equal to t cube plus 1 y equal to t square z equal to t 2t plus 5 where t is the time and find the component of its velocity and acceleration at the time t equal to 1 in the direction 2i plus 3j plus 6k so first we write the vector function that is x i plus y j plus z k so we have x t cube plus 1 i t square j and 2t plus 5k that is our vector now we have to find the velocity first we find the velocity so the velocity is what we take the derivative of r with respect to t so we get 3 t square i 2 t j and 2 Okay. now we have to find the velocity at t equal to 1 so at time t equal to 1 so dr by dt we have 3i plus 2j plus 2k on the place of t we just substitute t equal to 1 so that is in velocity now we have to find the velocity at time t equal to 1 in the direction that direction so the given direction 
says we say vector t is 2i plus 3j plus 6k so we just find the unit vector of that direction so we get the vector and the magnitude of that vector so we get 2i plus 3j plus 6k and we get root the square of 2 4 the square of 3 9 the square of 6 36 so now we get the vector the unit vector d is what 1 by 7 2i plus 3j and 6k now velocity the component component of velocity in the direction d is what is dr by dt the velocity into the in the direction d so we write the velocity is what 3i plus 2j plus 2k dot 1 by 7 2i plus 3j plus 6k now we take the dot product and we get 1 by 7 3 2 dot 3 into 2 we get 6 2 into 3 we get 6 and 2 into 6 we get 12 so we get 24 by 7 so that is in component of velocity now similarly we can easily find the acceleration so acceleration was d to r dt2 that is we take the derivative one more time of that so what we get that is dr by dt so the derivative of 3t square i 2tj plus 2k so here we get 6 ti plus 2j and at t equal to 1 we get acceleration at t equal to 1 we get d2r upon d t2 vector we get 6i plus 2j now again we have to find the acceleration in that direction so we just dot take a dot product of that with this so acceleration in the given direction d is what is d2r upon dt2 into the unit vector d so here we get 6i plus 2j and 1 by 7 2i plus 3j plus 2k so we get 6 into 2 that is 12 and plus 6 18 by 7 so in that way we can find the solution and the velocity component the velocity in that direction so in that example at any point of the curve x equal to 3 cos t y equal to 3 sin t and z equal to 4 t we have to find the tangent factor or unit tangent factor so here first we write the curve that is the vector function r that is x i plus y j plus z k now we have 3 cos t i 3 sin t j and plus 4 t k that is the vector function now we have to find the tangent factor so we take the derivative dr derivative with respect to t 
of that function this is the tangent vector so we take the derivative so what's the derivative of that we take the derivative of 3 cos t so the derivative we get minus 3 sine t i derivative sine cos so we get 3 cos t j and plus the derivative 40 we get 4 k now this is a tangent vector and the second part we have to find the unit tangent vector so we take the unit tangent vector suppose we just take this is the vector uh, unit tangent vector uh, tangent vector we take the unit tangent vector is what dr by dt we take the unit tangent so we write the vector minus 3 sine t i plus 3 cos t j plus 4 k and take the magnitude of that that is minus 3 sin t square of minus 3 sin t we get 9 sin square t plus the square of 3 cos 9 cos square t and the square of 4 that is 16 so here we get sin square plus cos square we get 1 and 9 plus 16 we get 25 so we get 5 and this is the i cos tj and 4k so this is what this is the unit tangent vector we just take the unit tangent unit vector of that tangent